This is Randy Thompson coming to you live. We're here with Trudy Adams and Miss Annie. We're at another place right now. Annie's getting ready to start showing dressage this year in training level. So we're taking her to a new place to keep her focused better. And Trudy's now warming her up. Keep her pole the highest point. Get her to pick up her back more by bringing her shoulders in one step. Supple her neck more so she's in the base of her neck. You can feel she's kind of in the top of her neck by her throat latch. See if you can get her to sit down a little bit more so she gets thicker in her neck. Slow down the outside rein. So you're going to do like a half haul now. Now. When the inside outside hind is off the ground, you're going to use your outside rein and leg now. Now. Until you feel her getting thick in your neck, almost like she's going to back up on the outside rein. Now. Now. Yep. And then supple her with the inside rein so she stays with a loose neck. There you go. There. Feel her neck getting thicker. Now she's gonna lose it other, every other step at first. Oh my gosh, she's just realized she's by herself. That's her baby Winnie. Tell me when she drops her neck, which means she's dropping her back. She's dropping it now, but I'm just trying to keep her attention. Good, well actually she's got her back up now. So this is pretty good. Okay, now shorten her by getting her to step up more into your hands. And now we're gonna start doing serpentine so we don't just keep going around the ring. So start on serpentines. We're going to keep changing the exercise a lot now. More energy from behind, a lot more energy. On a scale of 1 to 10, where would you put her energy? She said a 4. That's correct. Make it a 7. If she's not doing a 7, you're not going to get the scores you want. Good. Now as she starts walking off, she's used to doing the, you know, what she was doing before like a green horse, dropping her back and just taking a big walk. Which is fine, but now we want her to step up into the connection of your rein, right? So every time she loses her connection, you're going to say, Oh, goody, I can get her to step up into the rein and get thick in the base of her neck again. There, feel it? Good, Trudy. She's going to lose it right here because they all do. Good, praise her. That's it, again right there. It's going to happen every three steps. Supple her more. Soften her jaw. Soften her pole. Get her to step up. Soften her jaw, soften her pole, get her to step up. Good. Soften her jaw, soften her pole, get her to step up into your ring connection again. Praise her a lot. That's it. Good. Now you feel her walk has got some purpose? All right, now we're going to do the, tra the serpentines where you're going to walk the straight line and trot the curve. The trick will be keeping her together in the transitions because, you know, she's just learning how to stay connected. So if she pops her nose up, it's because you haven't asked her to supple enough. Shorten the length of your reins. That's right. And you want to feel it's a suppling, which means it comes from your, like your inside rein and leg or your outside rein and leg and not a seesaw. That's right. Supple her. See if she'll give you her neck. Praise her. Good. Supple her before you trot. And by suppling, she's... Softening the jaw, softening the pole, checking that the neck is loose, which of course is when Annie's picking up her back because Trudy's using her legs at the same time she supples. That's right, remember to use your leg at the same time you supple. Good, supple, get her to step up into your rein. Supple her more, praise her. That's all right, have her do kind of a leg yieldy thing, just keep her feet moving. That's it, ask her for a trot out of this. Good, praise her. Reins are too long. You've got to keep them right above her withers. Good. Good. That's it. Just, yep, that's it. Keep suppling her, getting her to step up into your rein. Good. She needs to be more supple in her neck. Add your walks to it. I know it's hard. That's right. Supple her neck. When we come back the other way, we're going to add, we'll just do the trot. Supple her. Because what happens is with the transitions we're doing on the serpentines is it teaches her to stay more connected. Supple her. Ask her to trot. That's it. Good. Supple her. Ask her to walk. Yep. Ask her to walk. Yep. Supple her. When you get down to the other end, we're going to add trots. We're going to keep trotting the whole serpentine. Supple her. You should be trotting there. That's it. Supple her. Now you're going to do like a, a working trot into a more medium trot. So here you're going to shorten the steps of the trot. Supple her until she picks you up. And now you're going to ask her to go forward keeping her supple.
Keep her supple. Keep her soft. Good. Ask her for the slower trot. Praise her. It's all right. She's going to do all kinds of weird things at first, all right? Forward. Good. Supple her into the slower trot. Supple, supple, supple. She's got to be soft in her jaw and her pole. If her nose is up, she's not soft. Forward. Supple. That's right. Soften her jaw. Soften her pole. Everything she's doing is normal for the level she's at. And this is also about the seventh time we've asked Annie to stay on the bit, on the contact, on the aids. So this is typical of horses that are learning. They will flip their heads back and forth and do all kinds of things because in the past she was ridden on a loose wing like a green horse. Good. Supple her. That's right. More suppling. See if you can get the top of her neck to stretch. That's right. If she flips her head, she's not loose in her jaw or her pole. So now you're going to think, what can you do to keep her loose? Keep checking. Is she loose in her jaw? Is she loose in her pole? And praise her. That's it. Keep doing serpentines. It's too easy for you to get stuck out on the outside. Good. Supple her jaw. Very good. Supple her pole. Good. That's it. That's it. Supple her a little bit more. And tell, tell me when she's thick in her neck. Like, like there she's not. Slow down the front end until she gets thick in her neck and just become aware of the feeling. Oh my gosh, there could be a troll over there. Good. Slow down the front end until she's under your seat more where she gets thick in her neck. That's it. So you're going to go as slow as you need to get her thicker in her neck. Because you can feel she, she likes to go forward and that's okay. She's just escaping through the front a little. You can feel that, right? What she should be doing, this is like the sixth or seventh time we've asked her to stay connected. So she really doesn't know you want her to step up into the rain yet. Every time her nose comes up is when you've got to get her to step up from her hind feet into the rain and then you praise her. That's right. If her nose comes, that's what, what do you have to do there? And you can keep trotting the whole time now. Oh, so she's coming down when she feels you suppling the rain. Okay, so add, I know it sounds easy to say, that's where you need more leg or a little bit of stick. That's it. Supple her twice as much. And every time you supple her, you get her to step up into your rain contact. Praise her. You just want to hold the rain until you feel her take a hold of it so your rain is live. You've got to give her a chance to step up into a live rain because you'll feel she'll, she keeps letting the rain go loose, right? Which she should be doing at this level. Now keep the rein alive. You might have to shorten the length of your rein just to feel her mouth. And then you're going to keep her up into that rein with your leg. That's it. That's it. Good, Trudy. Good. Supple her. Get her to step up into whatever rein you're using. Good. Right here, get her to step up more into your inside rein. And now to the outside rein. Get her to step up more to your outside rein. Do you see how we break it apart? Oh, she's all by herself. Get her to step up into your outside rein here. Praise her. <coughs> now the inside rein. That's it. Now back to the outside rein. Get her to step up into the connection. Praise her. Do figure eights. Anything but doing a 20 meter circle. All right. Good. Just feel. You can feel where she drops you. Okay. Which rein has she dropped you on? Okay, get her to step on one of them. Pick one rein and get her to take up a connection on that rein. Praise her. <laughs> That's right. You just start over again. And you'll be starting over a lot. This is really good that she's doing this. Good. Get her to step up to whichever rein you choose. Good. It's more interesting watching Bo come out. Good. Tell me which rain you're going to have her step into. <coughs> Get in a little outside rain to okay. okay, yep, outside rain to change directions. So get her to step up into it. Needs to be a little shorter if her nose is up. Oh, then you're holding too long. So if it's. Oh, no, no, that's good you said that. So if she's holding on that long that it's pulling on your arm. You need to hold for a step a little stronger, and then you have to let go just a little bit. Because if your arm's getting sore, you're holding it too long, which means she's locking up in her jaw to you. Definitely locking up. 
Yeah, because she doesn't know what you're doing right now. So this is normal. So when you feel her lock up, send her over to the other rein or find a way to supple her. If you hold the rein longer than three seconds, it's way too long. So if your arms are hurting, you've got to be holding your rein longer than three seconds. So just think, supple her on your left rein for two beats and then supple her on your right rein. And then on your opposite rein, you're going to let it go a little softer. That's it. Now put her on the other rein for two steps. And then put her on the other rein for two steps. That's it. And then put her on the other rein for just two steps. That's it. Put her on the other rein with your other leg for two steps. Good. Just keep switching sides. Inside rein and leg for two steps, then the outside. How does that work? Good, good. That's it. Take your time. You're just going to switch inside rein and leg or outside rein and leg every two steps. So she's using her inside rein and leg when Annie's inside hind foot is off the ground. Same with the outside rein and leg. She uses it as Annie's hind feet are off the ground, hind foot. Good, good. Just keep playing with it. If you feel she can hold it for two steps, you can try it for three steps. But she probably may not be able to. So you just search right now. You'll be happy if she can stay on one rein for one step. Two steps is really nice. Three is going to be a miracle. But it'll give you another way to feel how to supple her. Good, good. Do you see how it gives you another tool? Yeah. Good. What are you feeling different? Not locking up as much. Not locking up as much. And that locking up was probably unconscious. Good. Keep Yep, she's got her mind everywhere else. That's right, but that's where she should be with her level of training. She doesn't know how to stay on contact or on the aids. So what you're doing now, very good. Look, you're getting a little stretched. You feel it? Yeah. But a nice one, her back is up. Good, let her have a walk break. Yeah, I get a little angry with her sometimes. I wait, 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 wait. This is good for people to hear because they're all going through this with their horses too. So what did you just say? frustrated or angry with her because I know she can do it and she was just if I didn't have that firm contact she was doing this throwing her head up in the air but I just need to keep her busy with just keep her busy now yeah. now you said <laughs> that she can do it now how many times have, she, have you asked her to go on the bit like this no, half like a dozen or seven <laughs> that's seven, right six so or seven. so yeah. she really doesn't know no you're expecting a lot from both of you, aren't you? Yeah, because I think I, I've got it with her and I don't have it with her yet. <laughs> no, no, because you have got that thousand <laughs> time rule. Away from that. <laughs> but that's good, that's good, because at least now you're starting to realize that this is a big step up in your training. She's not really doing anything to be bad. No. She's just doesn't know what doesn't to do. She doesn't get away from home very much and yeah. she's going to go through this winny stuff. That's winny, right. Winny, winny, and and the, as far as the contact, she really is just figuring out what it is. Yeah. That was good. Take yourselves a walk break. Good girl, Miss Annie. You're a good girl.